International Film Festival. Opening night with Mr. William Forsyth. How are you? I am great there. I am so good. It's fantastic to be here and be a part of all this. We're very happy to have you here. And the opening night film is The Bronx Bull. You're playing Jake LaMotta. Yes, yes, yes. One of the greatest, well, Jake is one of the most amazing guys I've ever gotten to know in my life. He is a, he is a character beyond belief. He, he, is, he is a beautiful person. He is a wild animal. And he's such an interesting character to try to bring to life especially in light of the great film that was once made about him, The Raging Bull. Our film was the movie everybody wanted to hate, and I just want people to know, we, we just honestly tried to make a good film about Jake that captured a piece of his life from... from well, what, I'm sorry, well, what's different about this film, The Bronx Bull, compared to, I know, Raging Bull, where De Niro won an Oscar? Raging Bull was a movie that sort of was the, this huge fictional version of how Jake came to be and what happened. This film starts with Jake as a kid where you get to see kind of more of what he went through as a child in, in a realistic fashion and then it moves on to a point in his life just as his career was coming to an end where I, I, I literally cover him for about a 40 year span and I play him at times in his life when, when things were not perfect. When, when the world was not perfect, when he as, as a human being had to stand up and be the fighter that he was. And, and, and that's who Jake is, he is a fighter. It's more a personal story. I, I think it's a very down-to-earth story and it's a very different movie than Raging Bull. Have you heard from Robert De Niro on your role or has he given you any tips or anything like that? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not you sure. You don't need tips. But. I'm, I'm not sure Robert saw it, but uh, you know, I, I've seen Robert uh, in the last year and we did not discuss this at all, <laughs> but uh, I'm... You know, a touchy subject. <laughs> no, there's not, no touchy for me. You know, humility, humility. I was there the first day that... Uh, raging bull open. I sat at the front row. I was a young actor that I believed in nothing more than what I was about to see, and I was not disappointed by any part of it. Um, and I know, I know you I worked. Don't know with why I'm, I'm I'm here and doing this, oh, okay. except for the fact that I, I, I. You're a wonderful actor. I'm not afraid to do it. I'm I'm willing to do it, but I'm probably a fool. <laughs> I don't think so. We're going to look for another Oscar. So, is there anything uh, else you want to tell our audience uh, no, what's coming up? No, no, God bless. I say nothing but God bless. Have a great time. It's really nice to be out here in Long Island, in New York, celebrating a wonderful film festival. God bless. Oh, God bless you too. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you for being here at the Long Beach International Film Festival. My pleasure. You're amazing. I was at a film festival and I bumped into William. Uh, he had a film there, I had a film there. And uh, during one of the breaks, well, why don't you tell the story? I think you probably tell it better than that. <laughs> I can't tell it very well. He comes up to me and he goes, listen man, how do you feel about playing Jake LaMotta? And I was like, I grabbed him literally by his lapel and I pushed him against the wall and I said, you should not fuck with fucking actors. <laughs> you shouldn't say stuff like that unless you're serious. He goes, no, I'm serious. Um, Jake wrote a second book and he, it's called Raging Bull 2, which we weren't allowed to have the movie <coughs> called. And he said, I'm serious. And I, I didn't believe him at all. And uh, it took a solid year two years before it actually became serious, but one day he did call me up and say, let's, we're gonna make this movie. And, and we did. <laughs> uh, I guess my next question is for Jean Mayer. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Jean Mayer, sorry. Uh, you actually had an easy job in that, you know, uh, they don't really had anybody, anything to compare your role to because you kind of picked up where Raging Bull left off, but you had a, uh, a tough, tough, tough job in uh, actually being compared to some, be some of the same age range, some of the same um, similar moments that were seen in, in Raging Bull. So how did you take that on as you being a young actor and uh, coming into this role? Um, well, for me, I mean, the moments in this film that I have aren't the moments that are in Raging Bull. For me, the moments are like him as a kid and, and what started everything with his father and then the kind of menacing father he had, um, but I mean I worked a lot with, with William and, and he had something already set and so I just made sure that I was uh, 
portraying something that would make sense that it would be really good. That I'm a fighter and that I never gave up my whole life. I still haven't given up. I keep punching, I keep on going. And to me, that was the most inspirational thing I could ever want to hear. And that's, that's the reason I did this film. And, and that's the reason I'm so happy that people are seeing this film today. I think well, you guys did a great job in actually showing more to his life than Raging Bull. And I was really enjoyed the film. I was fascinated by it. Um, how did you find Young Jay? Actually, that was part of it, is that we needed to find somebody that, that could potentially look like a, a young William. And, and um, we auditioned about 700 or so uh, actors from around the world to play young Jake. Mojan walked in, and uh, he did the scene where he's, you know, putting money on, on his mom's desk, and he's, he was a very emotional scene. And uh, he did it with this very thick, uh, you know, New York accent, and uh, and I knew he was the right guy. I just I, I knew that, but you know, there was a, a committee there to, to make decisions, and so I remember running out the door after Mojan and saying, "Hey, man, I got to bring you back tomorrow. Make sure that you know that I'm not dreaming that this is you're the guy." Right? And of course, he had this thick Australian Australian accent, and and you know, a lot of the filmmakers that inspired Mujan, or a lot of the old school filmmakers that have inspired me over the years, Robert Allman, Coppola, Scorsese, etc. And there was just a simpatico about the process, the creative process, and storytelling through cinema that Mojan had at a very, had still at a very young age, that uh, sort of grasp on that um, storytelling, three, three act storytelling arc. And, and so he came in the next day and, and he nailed it again, and it was just an absolute blessing that he and we're, we've stayed very close friends, so very fortunate. For me, you know, to have this cast made it very easy, you know, and, and, and to some extent, everybody did their homework. I mean, it was very emotional material, and it was a very grueling schedule. We did the film in 20 days, and we had, we were running all over, all over. 20 days of filming. At age 57, they gave me 67 days to prepare. <laughs> okay. So I went from being the butcher weighing about 250 to having to get in the ring and fight. And in 67 days. So fuck you guys. And thank you guys. <laughs> it, it, and I have to tell you that you know, my friend right here, Steve Fleming, this man right here, he made, he made so much of this film possible. He stepped in and he trained me as a fighter. And, and in this short amount of time, and Mojan, and we stepped in there, and with a very short amount of time, we were able to study, dissect Jake, and be able to approach this, this film you know, from a physical perspective. The rest of it, obviously, was a lot too. But it, it, I just thank you so much to Steve. Uh, I, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart everything that he gave to us for nothing. God bless you. Boy.